a thorough, regular visual inspection of the machine is necessary to maintain machine performance, power, and safety. Make the inspection at the beginning of every shift or after every 10 hours of operation. For a maximum service life of the machine, always complete your inspection before you start the engine. Let's start our walk around. The first thing you should do is inspect the area around and under the machine, looking for loose bolts, fluid leaks, and damaged or worn parts. Remove any trash, rocks, and other trapped debris. Always check your flag bolts to see if any are loose or missing. Ensure that all covers and guards are securely attached. Check all exposed hoses and hose couplings closely for damage, wear, or leaks. If you observe a leak, find the source of the leak using cardboard or a thick material to protect your hands. Ensure that it is fixed before operating the machine. Check electrical wires daily for damage, including fraying, cracking, or signs of abrasion. Make sure all clamps, guards, clips, and straps are reinstalled correctly. This will help avoid vibration, rubbing against other parts, and excessive heat during machine operation. Inspect the condition of the hydraulic components for damaged or bent rods as well as leaks. Check the condition of the tires for damage and look for loose, missing, or damaged lug nuts. You may prefer to mark your lug nut so you can easily identify movement or loosening. Next, you are going to inspect the condition of your bucket. Take a look at the nuts and bolts on the cutting edge and base edge. Check the condition of the cutting edge and end bits. And for buckets with teeth, inspect the teeth and the connection to the shank. Before you go up into your cab, Inspect steps and handholds for hardware damage, loose bolts, and cleanliness. Once inside, turn on all your lights, including headlamps, hood lamps, tail lights, strobes, and hazard lights. Then check and replace any broken bulbs, broken lenses, and shields. Make sure your windshields are clean. Clean and adjust the mirrors for the correct rear view of the machine. Test the backup alarm and ensure the rear view camera is cleaned and working properly. As you walk behind the machine, check your radiator, condenser, and fan for damage and then clear them of any debris. Next, you'll need to check your fluid levels. In the rear left side compartment, check the oil level, check your fuel level, and add if necessary. Check your DEF level and clear the filler screen of any debris buildup. DEF fluid is corrosive, so be sure to keep the fill area clean at all times. Check your coolant level. Your coolant tank is located under the hood in the rear of the machine. In the front of your machine, there is a sight glass to check your transmission oil levels. Up on top, near the cab door, check your hydraulic fluid level. To the left of that, you can also check your windshield wiper fluid. Be sure to do your daily inspection, proper maintenance, and monitor the systems for any needs that may arise.